Hello and welcome to another edition of the Short Player Profiles. I am your host, the Fantasy Football Joker, at Jack Lucene. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me here on YouTube. You can even find me on Facebook. Uh, please go check those out. Please also check out at FF Advice Forum. That's FantasyFootballAdviceForum.com. They have all kinds of great content and a great community building over there. There's exclusive articles that I write, uh, including all my dynasty rankings are over there. Uh, but there's also other great content going up. There's an excellent community. There's a great group of people over there. So please go sign up. It is only $2.99 a month, only $28 a year. And so let's get right into things. Today, N is for Najee Harris. Uh, Najee Harris is uh, my favorite player on my favorite team. He's the running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, I've been a Steelers fan since I was eight years old. And, you know, uh, even going back to the days before my time, the running back in Pittsburgh has always had kind of a special importance. Um, and... You know, Pittsburgh is one of those teams that has always relied on having a bell cow running back, and that's exactly what Najee Harris has been. Um, even when you look at when he broke into the league as a rookie and he had 307 attempts for 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns, but the big thing was he also had 74 receptions for 467 yards and three touchdowns, and that was enough for him to crack into the top five both in PPR and in standard scoring leagues. And then so we saw with the retirement of Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers replaced uh, him with Kenny Pickett, who threw all of seven touchdowns last year. Seven. Okay. So clearly defenses were not concerned with the passing game. They were smothering Najee Harris completely. And I think it's easy to forget that he suffered a Liz Frank sprain uh, during uh, the early training camp preseason, uh, played through, and then also played through uh, hip and oblique injuries. Like, he was hurt, and he still played 17 games, and he still managed to crack into the top 15 in standard in uh, PPR in scoring. He had 272 carries for 1,038 yards, seven touchdowns, and he still had, again, 41 receptions for 229 yards and another three touchdowns. So he accounted for nearly 50% of the entire passing offense uh, touchdowns of the Steelers. And people, for some reason, are fading him where he was going in early first and second round of Dynasty and Redraft Leagues the last couple of years. People seem to be off of him this year for some reason, and he's going as late as third and fourth rounds. Um, so Najee Harris in the third round for me, that is an absolute lock pick. I think he is going to finish top five, and he even uh, has the potential to literally be the number one running back this year. If... Kenny Pickett takes a step forward and the Pittsburgh Steelers win 11 or 12 games, it is going to be on the back of Najee Harris. I would expect the passing volume to go up a little bit. I would expect his touchdowns to go up a little bit. And if he gets between 12 to 15 touchdowns, and gets that added volume back, he's going to finish top five just like he did his rookie year. So smash pick Najee Harris all day, every day. Thank you so much for joining as always. Please make sure to like, follow, sub the video. Uh, make sure to leave a comment. That always helps too. And uh, make sure that you go again to fantasyfootballadviceforum.com and sign up for that great exclusive community and for all the exclusive content that we are pumping out weekly.